What's up guys? Today I'm doing a video on something called seafoam. Everyone's aware of what this is. It is typically a fuel treatment, uh, cleans injectors, carburetors, pretty much anything in the fuel system, fuel pumps, filters in their system. It'll melt ethanol, it melts carbon. It's a very, very good thing to keep on your shelf. The reason why it's in right here is that I did a two ounce per gallon fuel treatment through this motor had a little bit lower PSI than I would have liked. Did a cold PSI test, 115, 115, 110. Okay, pretty much a benchmark for this motor, which is a 60 horse Yamaha two stroke. It was really around 125. Okay, that's what you wanna look for. And I was not really loving this 110 down here either. Now this motor came off of a 18 foot skiff and I was told that it was owned by an old man. And from the amount of carbon on top of these pistons, I kind of believed them. Uh, I, at first, I pulled my spark plugs out, poured a little bit in the cylinder, each one, turned it over by hand, back and forth, letting the sea foam with the motor tilted all the way up, kind of work its way around the rings. Now, of course, it can't go all the way. Um, I filled up one cylinder at a time, at the very top, to try to fill the chamber, worked it back and forth, and let it to where the uh, sea foam can get past the rings, right? one at a time because if you do all three one's going to drain through your exhaust ports and you're just going to come right up that drive after i did that did two ounce per gallon six gallons total and i just kind of went with a family cruise and let it run didn't run it super hard just a normal amount of running pulled out the spark plugs did a compression test and i was shocked i actually gained a fair amount of compression and I'm going to show you right here. Before. After. As you can see, I gained 10 PSI per cylinder. And uh, both of these tests were motor cold, throttle wide open. Okay. So that way everything can just move air straight through. I'm going to restrict it. And yeah, I could not believe I gained 10 PSI per cylinder. I mean, just incredible. Truthfully, I'm going to run another seafoam treatment um, on this engine and do another test because that was only six gallons. I really want to do maybe a 10 gallon test, really let it run, do a fair amount of full throttle, let it really warm up, really burn, and see if we can get all these cylinders right back up to their, uh, their OEM PSI. This bottom cylinder the piston did have the most carbon um, built up on top of the piston. I'm not really sure why. These two did as well, but they just weren't as bad. I'm thinking maybe this just needs a little more cleaning and we could bump this back to 125 as well, which would be beautiful. It's a 2002 engine, but I mean, these are just about bulletproof. It's hard for me to go four stroke when this runs so good. Put a 19 pitch prop on it. Jack plate, stereo, whole thing. So yeah, that's my review on Seafoam. If uh, you're curious if it works on outboards, <laughs> only six gallons of fuel, two ounces per gallon. There's your proof. I mean, wow. So if this video helps, smash that like button. I'll put a link in the description for Seafoam. I'll see y'all next time.